I'd like you to think more broadly, not just in terms of the course, but goals for seniors, um, particularly non-STEM seniors who are going to leave your district. What kinds of goals do you have for them? Financial responsibility. Critical thinking skills. Want them to have experienced uh, practical mathematics. Or something that they can carry with them to see it useful. Okay. Other things? Say uh, a confidence in math, even if it's not, you know, you know you're not going to take calculus, but you're still confident in doing mathematics. I see some other nods, people agreeing with what the others are saying here. Okay, well, we were kind of thinking about that aspect too um, a few years ago as um, many more states were moving to fourth year mathematics. And these are some of the things we were thinking about, which dovetail with what you were saying. So I just threw them all up there. But I thought it was interesting that you mentioned, um, you know, the confidence in seeing math as being real. Um, I think one of the things we struggle with, and I know having taught high school, is keeping those seniors engaged uh, in mathematics. And if we continue to, um, you know, <laughs> uh, give them the kind of mathematics that has no words around it, <clears throat> they, they start to wonder and may have been asking, you know, what am I ever going to use this for? I don't really know what I'm going to be learning when I leave the building. Um, so in terms of preparing for the future, I'm not sure what that will be or what it will look like. So particularly second semester, I know we've got engagement issues going on there for seniors. So those were some of the things that we thought about. And the literature um, around post-secondary uh, is, is showing lots of issues with uh, remedial. It's true all across the country with placement tests and all that. And uh, this is one of the reasons that many states are going to fourth year mathematics is because of the uh, research and data that shows that if, if kids don't take mathematics this senior year, um, they are disadvantaged when they do move on. They have that year off. And as we know, um, there's a lot of other mathematics that goes on in college besides calculus courses. And um, our, historically here in the U.S., our idea has been we prepare everyone for calculus and then um, that will help them even if they don't go to calculus. But there's actually some research that shows that, um, out of Wisconsin, that shows that the pre-calculus course is even a disadvantage for certain students. Um, it, it doesn't help them move forward. Uh, we, we tend to push as many kids into that as we can. And this is true. And when you think about the quantitative nature of the other disciplines nowadays, the economics, psychology, sociology, the quantitative thinking that goes in to the courses that about 75% of the students that go to college take, it's not calculus-based, but it's very quantitative. Okay. <clears throat> and here's some other data um, from the 2010 statistical abstract um, on course taking patterns. I don't know if you can see that this is 1995 and that's 2010. So the changes in enrollment, and that's the numbers in thousands on the vertical axis there. Um, where do you see the changes? I um, mean, enrollments are going up in college, we know that, but where, in terms of course taking patterns, what's happening? What kind of courses do you see increases in numbers? Mm -hmm. Can you read those guys? They are in the order of the bar, <laughs> fortunately. Okay. And what else? Other? Those two? Hmm? And this kind of tannish looking one is stat and prob. Does that make sense with your experience here that we have more kids going to college because we're really encouraging that. We're working at the K-12 level to um, help more um, 
students recognize the need to go to college and that's happening and you would think you know it, it these numbers are about the same those kids went to college anyway right they were your college intending the pre-calculus the calculus those numbers have not changed that much but the numbers are changing in the other areas and that other interestingly includes elementary education some business mathematics you know areas where sometimes the mathematics courses are taught in a different division than the mathematics department. The statistics is not always taught in the mathematics department. 